What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about how Canadian healthcare works. I'm very excited today to watch this video in particular, because this features a Canadian who is going to explain in very plain, very simple terms how the Canadian healthcare system works. I think a lot of Americans, such as myself, we think we understand the Canadian healthcare system, but we, we also refer to it as free healthcare, and I know that's not exactly true, that's not exactly how it works, so that one thing's for sure. There's no way that it can be worse than the American healthcare system. There has got to be a better way. Perhaps the Canadian way is a better way. So I'm very interested to learn about this. If we look closely at another country's healthcare system, we can get a better understanding of how we might do things here. Yes. And we don't have to travel across the globe. I mean, we can just look at our neighbor to the north. <laughs> yeah, right. seriously. Like, it's amazing. It's honestly amazing. I'm t <laughs> this is a healthcare topic video, so I'm definitely gonna go off on some rants and tangents. I can't help it, because I'm a bit passionate about this one. I don't, I don't understand how as the United States, we can think so highly of ourselves, so grandly of how we live and do things, given our messed up health care system of health care insurance, where hospitals and pharmacies and health care is basically treated as a business. So, yeah, I would, <laughs> please show me another way. Show me the Canadian way. So let's talk to a real live Canadian. Okay. Oh, um, can we not with the props, please? <laughs> okay. Actually, no, I'll take the flag. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Canadian health care. You're here to what? Oh, uh, my. I'm here to talk about Canadian okay. health care. <laughs> they just couldn't let that slide. They, <laughs> they, they had to put in a boot a uh, joke in the healthcare video. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you say it weird. <laughs> okay, so how does the system work? Well, we have a universal health system with private care and public financing. Universal health care. That's the phrase that most Americans use. A lot of Americans will say, oh, free health care, socialized health care, universal health care. Maybe that's the most accurate term for what we want to become. Universal. Everyone has it doesn't depend on what weird little obscure insurance plan you can buy or what your job can give you as an insurance coverage or God forbid if you don't have an insurance plan at all and you have to pay out of pocket, that's, <laughs> you'd probably just end up not going to the hospital at that point, sadly. So how does the system work? Well, we have a universal health system with private care and public financing. Okay. Hospitals are private and you can pick your doctor, but your medical bills, they're paid for by public funds. There it is. Medical bills paid for by public funds. That, I believe that means Canadian healthcare is paid by your taxes. And in that respect, it's not free. Canadians have to pay taxes. You're paying money. But God, that would feel good to have that here. To I, Half the time, I don't even know what my taxes are going towards. There's still the same old pothole in the side of the road down the street. And <laughs> I don't see any new bridges or parks or I don't know what the tax money is going towards. Maybe that's my fault for not looking more into it as like, you know, a citizen and all that. But if I could just know in the back of my mind that some of my taxes were going towards health care for me and for, gosh, it's nice knowing that it's paying for everyone else as well, in a way. That kind of universal where everyone takes care of each other system, man, that would be nice. I would like that. <laughs> so, the government doesn't run the system, they just pay for it. Yes. Yeah. There's a government program called Medicare that gives insurance to everybody. Ah. It's not just for older people? Right, because Medicare exists in the United States, thank, go thank goodness. That is something that everyone has to pay towards in the United States. Part of what you earn goes towards Medicare and the government kind of collects it under the presumption that when you turn 65, there will be a pile of money waiting for you that you've been pay paying towards your entire life. Everyone, when they turn 65 and older, then they start having their, their health care paid for by that. Um, that's nice. It almost is like that that could work 
throughout your whole life, not just till 65. Like, why? why I never thought about that. Graham called Medicare that gives insurance to everybody. It's not just for older people? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. You don't pay to see a doctor. All your basic care is covered by this one government insurance program. You don't pay to see a doctor? Man, like every healthcare insurance plan I've ever had always has like a, a little lump sum you have to pay it. When, when you see like an out of pocket, oh, there's a word for it, that you have to pay when you visit the doctor every time, like 50 bucks or $75 every time you see the doctor. It's really... American healthcare insurance really saves you from big, dramatic, life-ruining charges. Like, that are usually when you come down with some kind of big illness or get in a huge accident, have to go to the emergency room, or God forbid you have some kind of disease, cancer, terminal illness, or something that you need really intensive healthcare for, that's where healthcare insurance health can, can save you. Really save you. Otherwise, God, you'd owe hundreds of thousands of dollars, possibly. So what I'd normally get from my employer or have to find on my own in the U.S. is provided by the government? Yeah. Now keep in mind, it's not hmm. everything. Prescription drugs, dental, vision, those are not covered. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's important. That's a detail Americans don't really know. That, so this covers, what, your... Doctor visits, hospital visits, but not, what did she say, dental, vision, or, or pharmaceutical uh, drugs? From my employer, or have to find on my own in the U.S., is provided by the government? Yeah. Now, keep in mind, it's not everything. Prescription drugs, dental, vision, those are not covered. Okay. So some people choose to pay a little extra for supplemental insurance from, say, Blue Cross to cover oh. that stuff. Oh. So can, some Canadians do have... Healthcare insurance, health insurance, but it must be a much smaller plan because that's all we have in the United States. That's the system, healthcare insurance. That's everything. So the premium you can pay monthly uh, can be extraordinarily high, especially depending on how often you set you need to go to the doctor or to the hospital. The premium you pay every month can be crazy. I mean. I've seen it, it can be, if you if you have a job and get it through your job, it can be, that's the way to do it. That's t the way most Americans can even afford it, is through your job, maybe it's 100 or $200 a month, but then if you have to do it privately, if you get a terrible plan, uh, it can be like 300, 400, I think, last time I checked. And uh, if you, God, if you're older or need intense healthcare and you know you need a, a plan that's gonna cover that, frequent visits and frequent treatments. Uh, I've heard of 500 to 1,000 a month, which is, you know, <laughs> that's, most people can't afford that. Most people straight up cannot afford that. And that's, that's a sad thought, isn't it? The fact that that's possible. There's people in America who need health care and they can't afford that care. And they're living in America. That, the fact that that's possible, that's the problem. Huge problem, huge problem. I don't know why this isn't talked about more in America, honestly. So there are still private insurance companies. Yep, but healthcare costs are negotiated by the government, so premiums are cheaper, care is cheaper, drugs are cheaper. Huh. There's so much- Huh, uh-huh. Healthcare costs are negotiated by the government. That is, I, you know, it. you don't want government, like, controlling too many aspects of your life, but Making sure you can have health care is one of them. That's an ad that is when you want your government to be in control of something, to make sure you're getting health care. That's maybe one of the biggest points of having a government, of having a social system in place so that all its citizens can benefit from, yeah, government systems like health care. But in America, it's crazy. It's like a business. I mean, hospitals, insurance companies, I mean... Maybe Canadians know a little about this. Insurance companies in America are considered some of the biggest, like, scum of the earth, like, <laughs> the amount they charge, and hospitals, and gosh, like, drug companies all can set their prices, and it seems totally ambiguous at times why certain drugs are cheap and others are so expensive, and it's wild, yeah. Uh, not, healthcare isn't one of those things you want they're up in the air like that, where business controls.
the price. It's just, you don't want that. Much cheaper that Americans sometimes buy their drugs from Canadian pharmacies. Sometimes Americans buy our drugs from Canadian pharmacies. We can do that? Wait, that's an option? Hey, wait, wait a minute. Why am I just hearing about this? Okay, that seems probably excessive. Like that'd be quite a lot of effort. Maybe the effort is worth it for America. Like it must be. She's saying some Americans maybe that are really close to the border, maybe? Can Americans just go over the border, buy drugs and come back? Is that legal? That's... Wait a minute, I think I just found a new business plan. I, got, I gotta go, no. <laughs> Canadian drug business, okay. So to pay for that system, you must have super high taxes. Our income taxes rough out to around the same as the US. Huh? And we don't pay deductibles or out-of-pocket expenses. Deductibles, that's the word I was looking for. When you gotta pay little sums of money uh, for getting treatment, deductibles. How? See, that would have been maybe the one argument against this system. It's like, oh, it's all paid for by taxes. Oh, Canadians must be taxed through the roof. No, I mean, from what, if this is true, I assume it is, uh, the taxes are comparable to what we're already paying in the United States. No, Americans pay more individual income tax, 4% more. How does... But we don't get any healthcare benefit. How does, why? We're around the same as the US. And we don't pay deductibles or out-of-pocket expenses. What? Plus, like I said, our care is generally cheaper. So, yeah. taxes are the same, and your healthcare costs are cheaper? Does that mean the quality of care is worse? It's good. Most Canadians are happy with it. Not to mention the free healthcare thing is actually doing what it's supposed to do. We're ah, she did call it free healthcare. Man, do Canadians refer to it as free healthcare? I thought that was an American thing because it is paid by taxes, but wow. I mean, some of this stuff is honestly, <laughs> she's talking about the quality of care. Okay, so if it's all by taxes and also cheap and accessible, it must suck. The care must suck. It's like, no, no, Canada is like, has really great healthcare from what I've heard. Now that is, one of the redeeming factors about the United States, about our healthcare, there, if there's one thing positive I can say, American healthcare is very good. Not the healthcare insurance, not the payment, the care itself, the treatment, the doctor seeing you, them giving you treatment in the emergency room and surgeries. Those are some of the best in the world work in America. And it seems like in, Almost all across America, people are very happy with the care itself. The, the pretense is, can you afford to get that care? It's, it's some of the best in the world, but can you get it? And that's, that's the major issue. With it, not to mention the free healthcare thing is actually doing what it's supposed to do. We're pretty healthy in Canada. Mm. We have one of the highest life expectancies and lowest infant mortality rates in the world. Wow. Ah, so having access to more health care makes Canadians more healthy? Yeah, because more Canadians can go get... Ca <laughs> more Canadians can get health care. Therefore, the average age of the a Canadian is going to be higher. Canadians are going to live longer and survive more on average if they're literally able to see the doctor more. So that's another benefit of Canadian health care. You get to live longer. Hard to put a price on living longer, like... We literally, I, I don't know. Listening to all this, I don't know why America doesn't have a system like this. I'm, you know, sadly, I think I do know why. I know why. I think Americans know why. It's because of money. American, you know, pharmaceutical, drug companies, hospitals, healthcare insurance companies in America, they make so much money. Untold amount of money from what they can charge. And, uh... They have a huge interest in that not changing. So I imagine that has a lot to do with it. Um, I don't want to get into like, uh, who, like corrupt poli politics or something or why, why, but that is a good question. Why isn't this more talked about in United States government in politics? Why aren't politicians like bringing this up, the healthcare system? Uh, like why isn't this more of an issue it's like Americans have just gotten used to it and accept this system. That's just the way it is, which is a horrible kind of uh, stance to have on something. Oh, that's, well, it's the way it is. 
I think also another thing is this affects a smaller proportion of Americans. Unfortunately, it affects the poorest Americans because most middle class Americans and of course the wealthy can get health care insurance plans and health care. So this doesn't having to pay out the wazoo and going going bankrupt from health care bills only affects poor people and people who I guess come down with very particular illnesses that aren't covered. They don't have the coverage for or procedures they don't have the coverage for. So this problem affects not enough people in America that Americans care to, you know, advocate for change. But I am. I'm at, change this. Can Americans just watch this video and like realize there's a better way? <laughs> All right, don't brag. <laughs> Now, I heard you have to wait in line for weeks or months uh, or years to go to the doctor. Yeah. I've heard that. Uh, like one criticism of Canadian healthcare, long wait times. Lo it can take a long time to get a doctor or to see the doctor. Or is that true? I, I think that's like, I think that's pretty common criticism. Yeah, that's kind of a myth. You would never wait for an emergency. If you were sick or hurt, you'd see the doctor right away. When you Oh, it's kind of a myth. Oh, she's saying if it's an emergency. If, you're, if your arm got chopped off, <laughs> God forbid, I don't know why, but you're probably going to get seen quickly. Well, that's good. That's exactly the same in America. As, as a matter of fact, in America, one positive of our terrible system is when you need to see the doctor or whatever, you're going to get to go. You're paying a lot of money for it, so you... They will see you very quickly, within days oftentimes, or sometimes even that same day. I've had it happen. So that's kind of nice, I guess. You might wait as if you were doing an elective or non-life-threatening surgery. For those, we prioritize the people who need the procedure the most. Hmm. Say, older folks who've been living with the issue the longest. But keep in mind. That's tough. So Canada has to figure out a way to prioritize different procedures and different care towards people. That sounds like it could get a bit tricky. So this is maybe the one criticism. Um, if it's an emergency, you're going to get care, which is fantastic. I would assume that. But if it's not an emergency, in Canada, it can, it can take some time, by the sound of it. We prioritize based on need, not on who has the most money or the fanciest insurance. Because oh, man. <laughs> oh, she hits me right where it hurts. Oh. Right in the insurance heart. <laughs> People are not seen based on how much money they have. Absolutely true in America. Or how good the quality of your insurance, which is absolutely true. Yes, totally true. Because all of us, we all have the same insurance. Huh. Okay. Wow. But if you had money, lived in Canada, maybe you'd come to the U.S. to get surgery, right? Oh. Oh. Mm, kind of another myth. That's oh. actually pretty rare. Plus, in the U.S., you still have to wait to get a lot of the same kinds of care. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. If, you're, if you need a special procedure done, it's still going to take some time to get that surgeon and get the care. And yeah, I don't, this is kind of an interesting, weird question. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think Canadians would fly down to the United States for surgery or anything, unless it was for a really particular uh, surgeon or health giver who you specifically wanted working on you. And while we're looking at stats, how about this one? 80% of Canadians are happy with our health care system. Oh. So most people in Canada, well, we don't want to change it. There it is. There it is. That's a good one. 80% of Canadians are healthy, are happy and healthy. <laughs> Sublim subliminally, I'm like healthy because of the health care. 80% are happy with the health care. And uh, that makes total sense to me. Well, Americans are way less satisfied with our health care. Actually, the people who are happiest with our system here are the folks with government health care like yours. Mm. So you've got a system where you have private health care. You pick your doctor. You pay taxes to have government Medicare that covers everybody. Taxes that are around what you pay. You can opt huh. for an extra private insurance to cover drugs and dental. Uh -huh. And those premiums and costs are lower than the U.S there's a lot about the Canadian system that might work well in the U.S. Yeah. Thanks for such a great explanation. Yeah. You're very welcome. She's great, huh? <laughs> Smart, charming, and so polite. Oh. That's kind of Canada's style. Okay. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. What an ending. Oh, that was very good. That was very good. That was by California Physicians Alliance YouTube channel. And I got to give that a like. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Canadian healthcare system explained very plainly. Very easy to understand way to understand. And a really easy, the way they presented this, it was almost like kind of disturbing how easy it is, it made it to see how bad the American healthcare system is compared to the Canadian healthcare system. This really spelled it out quite obviously. No idea, like, I mean, like I said, I do know why this isn't a thing in the United States. Because of money, there's no other reason besides people make money off s sick Americans, n depending on healthcare. That's one thing you need. What? A, that's a good biz a good business. I can't, <laughs> I can't argue that. It's a good business to be in. Like, everyone needs healthcare. That's the sad thing. So, yeah. For now, for the foreseeable future, seems like we're stuck with this, but it is fun and almost a little depressing <laughs> to see other ways, better ways of doing the whole healthcare system thing. So for that reason, I, I did enjoy this. This was really fascinating and educational. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with your thoughts on Canadian healthcare and the Canadian healthcare system and the pros and cons of it, or if I misunderstood something in here, let me know. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.